Hi, I'm Anne Marie from Brambleberry.com and SoapQueen.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a lavender body butter. What's a body butter? Well, it's like a lotion, but without water or emulsifying wax. Because of that, it's very rich, very moisturizing, and yeah, it does feel a little oily and heavy, but that's great for those drier patches of skin or for those colder winter months. To make this whipped body butter, we're using lavender butter from Brambleberry.com. Lavender butter is an interesting mixture of hydrogenated sweet almond oil, vegetable oil, and lavender extract. Because of that, it has just a very faint smell, but it smells amazing and it's so good for your skin. Take 16 ounces of lavender butter, put it into a bowl that's large enough for the entire body butter mixture to double in size because we're going to whip it and it's going to be so smooth and fluffy at the end. Now that my butter is all in, I am going to whip it for probably 30 to 60 seconds. What I'm looking for is for it to get light and fluffy. You can use a stand mixer, so like one of those Cuisinart stand mixers, or I'm going to be using a hand mixer. You'll notice that this is starting to kind of climb up the sides when that happens. Take a spatula, just kind of push it all back down because we want this to all get mixed really evenly. And now that that's mixed, it's time to add our extract. And our extract is this beautiful orchid extract that's in fractionated coconut oil. What it does is it adds some really lovely properties to this body butter. It makes it a little softer, a little smoother. And then the orchid extract has long been prized in very high-end beauty products as a fantastic additive for skincare. Mix this in by hand because if you if you put the blender in it right now, what happens is all the little droplets go everywhere. So you kind of want to work it in just a little bit. Once this has been fully worked in, we're going to go ahead and blend for another 30 to 60 seconds. I can already see how much softer this has gotten just with that one ounce of extract. Go ahead and keep blending though. You want it to really get light and fluffy again before we start adding in the arrowroot powder or the essential oil. Just like the last time, scrape a little bit down the sides because we want to make sure that everything gets mixed evenly. We don't want any dense pockets of butter that when you're adding, when you're doing this on your skin, that all of a sudden you get a dense pocket of butter. You want everything to be light and fluffy. And now it's time to add our lavender fine essential oil from Brambleberry. This comes from France and it smells so herbaceous, it's that typical lavender scent. We're only gonna add six milliliters of that lavender. Now, if we were to add more, what would end up happening is it would be almost more like a perfume instead of a body butter. And really, we want this to give you a nice gentle scent, but not overpower anyone. So that's six milliliters in this entire recipe. Just like with the extract, we're gonna hand stir this in because we don't want any of that precious lavender droplets to go flying through the air once we turn our blender on. I can already see that this has doubled in size almost. It is so light and fluffy. It reminds me of like marshmallow clouds or icing. I'm gonna blend this in now for 30 to 60 seconds. The final ingredient in this body butter is arrowroot powder. Now, as I mentioned, this is made out of, well, basically oils, so it is a little bit heavy. What the arrowroot powder does is it helps to absorb kind of some of that oily feeling. Now, it's still gonna be oily on your skin, but this makes it a little drier feeling, helps the spreadability of it. I'm mixing this in just a little bit because I don't want an entire cloud of arrowroot powder to go off when I put my mixer in. So I'm just mixing by hand. You're definitely going to want to do that because arrowroot powder all over your kitchen, not fun to clean up. I'm scraping gently down on the sides because I want all of my butters and powders now to be in the middle of the bowl. Mixer for 30 to 60 seconds. So these are the bale jars from Brambleberry. 
I love them because they do have a seal that helps the butter from leaking in case it gets hot. Obviously this is an oil-based product, so you're not going to want to keep it in like say a hot car, but if you did, this will help it keep from leaking. These bale jars are a little bit tough to open up, so keep that in mind. That's really a good thing because you don't want them to accidentally open up if you're putting them in a purse or if you're in transit. Once you have this mostly filled, you're gonna to wanna to give it just a little tap on the table to get it all the way down so you can just fill it a little bit taller. You're not gonna to wanna to fill it all the way. So I like to leave just a little bit of headspace because when we close this, the lip needs to go down. So we close, we use a little bit of elbow grease to just, there we go. They're tight to close, but on the other hand, they don't leak, so that's great. So I have about enough for six bale jars full, but before we sign off, I wanna talk a little bit about preservatives and if this needs a preservative. So technically, this product doesn't have any water-based products in it. So technically, it doesn't need a preservative. Now, if you're concerned that your clients might introduce water into this somehow, like say they're gonna keep it in the shower for whatever reason, um, you're gonna wanna use a preservative like Optifen or something like that. But for this recipe, since we didn't include any water-based ingredients in it, there's no preservative. This recipe should last a good one year because all of these ingredients are shelf stable for about a year. I can't wait to see what you guys create. Please hashtag your creations, hashtag Bramble on, on Instagram and Twitter or post them to our Facebook page so I can see what you've done with this idea. Until next time you guys, thanks for watching. So we've already talked about scooping, yeah. so now I'm gonna scoop.